Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the best use of ripped DAX function in Power BI. Not only in Power BI you can also use it in other applications as well. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Usually this kind of analytics used for a rating purpose here I'm just giving as a smiley rating for employee about the performance and how they have rated up based on that. So here in my case, this is a simple table which contains employee name and the rating here. Rating is represented as 1, 2, 5 is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rating. So here the Dean has 5 rating, John has 5 rating and Mike has 4, Rose has 2 rating, Sam has 3, White has 4 and Wood has 3 rating. So this is the kind of smiley information which you can show up here and how we need to do that. There are actually two ways which you can do now. Uh, one is basically if I click here smiley ratings and you can see this DAX function. I just use the ripped. This is the DAX function which is basically the repeat actually. So if you open up this DAX it says like text which we need to pass and then number of time it has to repeat. So I'm just adding this smiley symbol as a text input. So you can just type it out whatever you want to do here or you can also add unique R tax functions. I have made a separate video on the unique R tax functions. If you haven't seen that, please go and check out that video as well. So and instead of using unique R, if you want to use your smiley functions like here, then you can just need to click on windows and then dot key. Then it will bring up this beautiful interface for you so that you can pick up whatever these emojis if you want. And after that, what I use here, maximum of this employee rating so that it will go row by row here and then it will pick up that maximum value and then we can show the values here. So here for an example, uh, let me just do one thing. Let me comment this one and then hit enter. So by doing this, what will happen is it will just take the maximum value from this rating and then repeat all these smiley symbols by each and every employee here. If you see now, we can able to fill this 5 for Dean, John 5 and then for Rose is 2. So others it is showing as blank values here, right? So that's a kind of thing which you can show if you want to show over there or even if you want to show this black as a symbol which is a contrast to this smiley symbol, I thought. So what I did here is I just combined this value by using this ampersand and symbol and again I use this repeat this one which is the another emoji symbol here and here I used here maximum of this rating 5 minus this one because I know the rating is range from 1 to 5 so the 5 is the maximum minus the maximum rating of that particular employee here in this case Dean has 5 so 5 minus 5 it will be 0 so it is not going to repeat this one and for the my case it will repeat as one time for Rose case it will repeat as three times so 5 minus 2 which is basically this rating which is 3 and now this will return as 3 times. If I hit enter now then let's see this output here. You see the for Mike it shows 1, for Rose it shows 3 and for Sam it shows 2 values here. So this is a cool thing right if you want to uh, make a user a beautiful report then we can make use of this repeat functions in our dashboard or report. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.